talk about sand play. Remember in the bunker, it's not called a sand trap, it's called a bunker. We need three sand wedges. We need a 52 degree, a 56, and a 60. They have different lofts. And the thing on the bottom of the wedge, on the trailing edge, the opposite side, which is called bounce. And that's why we use sand wedges. We always open it up just a little bit so that the, the uh, club will bounce off the sand. So generally, in a bunker, we're going to swing about twice as hard as a pitch shot. Also, this shot is a little more vertical. Okay, So we want to understand we swing about twice as hard and it's a shot that you skip the ball out of the sand, you don't have to dig it out. The first thing that we're going to do is I want the listeners to understand that as a general rule with a slightly open club head we're going to hit, we're going to try to remove a four inch pie if you would or you could call this an egg. This is the yellow of the egg and this is the white of the egg. Remove the white of the egg about four inches in diameter. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of sand. That's why we swing twice as hard. So how do we set up? Well, just like pitching, we're going to open up a little bit. The ball now is more centered in our stance. Weight a little bit forward and the handle tilted a little forward with a slightly open club head. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a stroke. The stroke again is more vertical. We're going to go more up and we're going to go down. An old pro showed me that if I pick the club straight up and did this, that's how you hit a sand shot. Okay, Except now I have to turn and hit that more of a descending blow. Okay? Okay, I do want to make one comment as I make contact with this thing. One of the things that's very important, if I was going to go towards that camera, I make a motion, I don't finish over here when you're in the sand. When you make contact with the sand, you actually hinge up and this die six six the flag stick. If anything, in a sand shot, the club would finish a little more to the side or at least vertical. But in the sand, you never finish over here or you take this vertical motion and, and, virtu and actually destroy it. So we'll go here. I'm going to hit a little behind it. I have my stance, club slightly open, weight on my left side, go more vertical. <laughs> and make my move. You see where the club finished here and not there. Okay? Ready? Okay, two other shots very quickly here. What happens if your ball ends up on an upslope? Well, there's a couple things you got to do. First of all, you're going to take less loft. I'll tell you, I'll take, if I'm on an upslope very severe, I'll take even an 8 iron or a 9 iron and sometimes a 6 iron and open it up a little bit and use the bounce of a 6 iron. But generally I take less loft. What I'm going to do here, you've got to put your weight on your right foot because you never fight the angle you are on. I'll say that again. You never fight the angle you are on. So if I lean to the left, like I've asked you to do that, I'm going to take way too much sand. I just want to skim the sand. So this is a case where I won't open up the club a whole lot. I'm going to put my weight back and I'm just going to kind of follow with the contour with my swing and we'll make, okay, a little more difficult of a shot. Actually I grabbed a 60 degree by accident. So I am human. Ready? So basically we are not going to fight the angle we are on. I'm going to not open the club as much, put my weight on my right foot, not take as much sand. And allow just a natural swing to make it happen. One other thing I'm going to mention. Let's say I have a long bunker shot, okay? And I have to go 150 yards, take a 7 or a 6, always take 
two more clubs than normal. Dig your feet in, take a normal swing, and what you're going to try to do is to hit the ball first with kind of a shortened back swing. Dig my feet in, take two extra clubs. The reason why I take two extra clubs is so I don't overpower it. If you swing hard on a long bunker shot, your feet will slip. I want to swing smooth and easy, and I don't force it, but I don't take a big back swing. Take a nice follow through, and you hit the ball first. Don't panic on a long bunker shot. Don't try too hard on a long bunker shot. Just take it easy on a long bunker shot.